Hello and welcome to Let's Play Endless Space 2. I'm JC Proton and this is episode 26. 26 of my third Let's Play series. So we're picking up where we left off at turn 132 and things are starting to heat up a little bit. The What's left of the Vodiani here is hard to see. There's not much left of them, honestly. Cravers just attacked them and took them out. <clears throat> they formed... Vodiani decided to form an alliance with the uh, Vaulters. And uh, at this point, I could exact a, a small concession from the vaulters but I don't want to do that because then I'll be bound to not attack them for a while and I would rather have the option of attacking them on the table <clears throat> as you can see I'm still at peace with the Alliance and the Unfallen and the United Empire and uh, Cold War with um, Cravers with closed borders and um, yeah, closed borders uh, with the vaulters. And what happens when these two joined together, um, the Vodiani went from being at peace with me to being at Cold War. So that spoiled the peace that we had. <coughs> Consequently, I went ahead and attacked the Vodiani ship that was hanging out up here and got rid of it. Um... So I have come in here with my fleet where the pirates took out this system, took out this, and this is actually their home system. <clears throat> so uh, I moved my fleet in here. Uh, it's you know, full 22 ships plus, uh, plus a leader. Um, moved in in here. I'm getting attacked by the pirates, of course. Um, so that's the kind of the action that's happening here. Um, I moved in here, put an outpost here. See, it's done in four. The United Empire already had an outpost here. I'm still at peace with them. It's just a race, right? Um, so I have a food ship here. So do they. My food ship has more food and is a little closer. <coughs> So I'm not sure uh, who's going to win that race. I mean, maybe maybe if I gets there first, I win. I'm not sure. We're going we're gonna to find out how that, how that plays out. Cravers have a big, bad fleet. Um, it is formidable. So it's looking to me like uh, it may be necessary for me to go ahead and build some medium ships. So that's uh, starting to be apparent that my little fleets, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, they might not be up to snuff. So we may need to build some of those. So let's go ahead and uh, knock out some battles. Uh, we'll get that stuff knocked out first. Uh, and then we'll circle around to the other, the other stuff. So, so this is at Yersh right here. And as you can see, there are a lot of pirates here. Five, six, seven. Seven pirate fleets. The fleet will likely, my fleet will probably get attacked by all seven of those pirate fleets. <coughs> okay, so knowing that I'm probably going to get it attacked over and over and over, let's go to repair and recover. Um, let's see how this goes. We have them severely outgunned. Uh, we have them by far in energy weapons, but we even have a little bit of an edge on kinetics. Um, 
apparently they have us outmatched at long range and at short range. I don't know. <clears throat> that graphic is always a little bit confusing to me. Anyway, here we go. Um, let's just uh, give it a go and see how this plays out. Seeing how they're they're mostly kinetic, I think we'll do pretty well because a lot of that kinetic is going to be ranged. But let's see, this one's a very short range kinetic. Energy and mixed. <coughs> so yeah, should go really well. This one is the missile ship, right? Yep. So let's go over here to the ship that's on the receiving end of those missile volleys <clears throat> and see how he fares. He's way out here. Well, that was pretty one-sided. <clears throat> see how the uh, math worked out. 825 damage. And energy weapons did a little bit more than the kinetics. 38 XP for... Uh, 38 XP, 18 for the hero. <clears throat> him start leveling up more. Be the first to reach 85 approval in your empire. Federated Pro Procurement Office. <coughs> Minus 25% on dust and strategic resources retrofit. <coughs> Ship refit and repair costs drop dramatically. Okay, cool. That must be uh, because I unlocked this. Yep, must be. <coughs> okay. See how I'm doing on my. Okay, I can do a new level four modernization. You can see how my trade companies are doing. In fact, let's go to a different screen for that. <clears throat> so here's our trade routes. So we have headquarters over here at AA, AB, and CG. And then we have our subsidiaries here, and here, and here, and here, and here. <clears throat> so you can see this is uh, what our trade companies are producing at this point. <clears throat> Sorry about all the throat clearing. Still a little bit under the weather. It's been like that. Okay, so I've got a hull upgrade. OK, 
Okay, I have a new loss slot. Improved faster commercial civilian drives. And I can build obelisk with all space time now. Well, if I had resources, I could. Um, okay, so let's look at what a cruiser would look like. So if I was doing a coordinator, a defensive type tank oriented cruiser, I put an engine, I would put a couple of shields and a couple of armor. <clears throat> Probably something like actually, let's do this. Some defensive guns. armor and a couple of shields Seventy-one versus seventy-nine percent is not really that much of a difference, is it? So if I'm going cheap, probably something like that. I mean, that is a pretty cheap ship. It's going to be pretty tough. So I would call this a shield. And then the other would be a cruiser. <clears throat> and a cruiser would look like this. Put one. Defensively, we put an armor and a shield. that maybe maybe more guns maybe more like that <clears throat> yeah probably something like that that was more missile defense let's see 4365 yeah I like that better okay so that's cruiser design and again pretty cheap cheap <clears throat> cost to build 4200 industry 4148 so they're roughly similar 4200 about <clears throat> 4200 and my production on my system so that would only take like one to two turns Right, maybe three turns at most for most of my systems to build those. So, pretty reasonable. I can crank out a few uh, medium ships, uh, and that'll help uh, defray these uh, these these cravers. These cravers are pretty pretty fierce. They they've got me outmatched right now. So, 
going to need to uh, step up my game a little bit on uh, the fleet game here. Looks like we got another pirate attack. Uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to do things a little different on this one. Repair and recover. <clears throat> I'm going to thin this out. Um, I'm going to take it down to my usual arrangement of a six pack. I think that works better. We're just six ships. Um, that puts the the decoy protector ship in the middle of the other five, and so those five are in the perfect arrangement to be optimal um, defense for uh, point defense against missiles. All right, so let's do that, and we'll see how this one goes. <coughs> So before I was taking like 800 and something damage, so let's see how this one goes. I think it'll be less. Okay, once again, we got the missile ship up here. Guns. Okay, no other missiles, so it's all up here. So let's just go to that ship. Okay, here come the missiles, <clears throat> and let's see how they do. Much better. See, he shot them down instead, instead of them hitting. See how much better he did? Here come the missiles again, boom. Here comes another salvo. See, didn't even get scratched, barely a scratch. Yeah, much better, much better. Okay, so we're going to stick with that layout. Let's look at the numbers. Yeah, 343 instead of whatever, 800. And it's, hard, it's hard to even find out what the damage type was that I took. There's so little. Okay. So let's check our other fleet movements. Okay, so the plan is going to be to um, to bring an outpost down here. And uh, if I can sneak in over here <clears throat> and take these luxurious, take these uh, Calgaros and get luxurious livers, 20% system development luxury cost reduction. I'm already at minus 45%, so that'll make it minus 65%. So since I'm only currently paying, see if I'm not minus 45, then that means I'm only paying 55. So that'll cut it down to 35. So <clears throat> that'll be a very significant decrease in cost. right so we have all kinds of things that have completed I'll do those off camera uh, the genetic alteration labs uh, we've been putting those to work <clears throat> and this is what our population now looks like everybody is becoming super Horatios uh, we are multiplying the Rogiani uh, we've got them sh flying all over <clears throat> to new systems and basically putting one on a whole bunch of systems and so that they can grow and we're, we're gonna kind of just at this point we're just gonna let it coast let everybody arrive let everybody multiply and uh, it'll be taken care of and then when, when they get up to the right number I think it's 36 yeah then we'll splice them so invaders Probably going to bring those over here. Let's bring them. Kind of want to hold off on moving those until we get done with these pirates. Do I have the battle tactic? Power to shield. 
Let's repair and recover. I do not have um, this one yet. Full reserves. Full reserves is nice. It lets you just attack over and over and over and over and over and over. <clears throat> So I guess I'll have to wait around. But uh, essentially, I'm not even going to watch these battles now because we know how it's going to go. So I um, really just wanted to give that update. Um, I guess I can run through the build queues and everything. Let's see if there's any other fleet movement needs to happen. Those are waiting. That's going to wait. That's going to wait. I'm in this quandary about do I attack the Cravers? I think I don't attack the Cravers yet. Uh, we have closed borders with them, so I don't think they can go anywhere from, from, from where they're sitting right there anyway. Oh, okay. Let's. There's a Vogliani ship. Take care of him. Wait, I don't know that we even need to watch it, but I guess we will. 352 versus... 122, we know how that's going to go. Uh, we'll do the repair and recover. So, uh, seeing how big those Craver fleets are, and since I'm going to start building medium ships, we might we might actually get some decent sized fleet battles, which would be cool. <clears throat> I get some good fleet battles. I might uh, I'll, I'll record those and I'll put those over in the um, in my fleet battles, endless space two fleet battles uh, channel uh, playlist, maybe I guess it is. <clears throat> and there we go. Glorious victory. Hey, we got attacked again. What do you know? Uh, so we're just going to go repair and recover. Like that. And we're not even going to... We don't need to watch this. We know exactly how this goes. <clears throat> yep. took even less damage <laughs> and we get attacked again not using power to shields or repair and recover keep that the same Four hundred thirty-eight. It seems like there's uh, a little bit of critical hits or something that happens. There's some some variability. We level that again. That's cool. Twice in one turn, right? Okay, that's all fine. Still have nine ships left. Two fleets remaining. Let's see. Forest, Boreal. Boreal's going to be upgraded to Forest.
system four upgrade. So while these super Horatios are not uh, extreme foremen, um, they're getting pretty super. <clears throat> they're getting pretty super. AG, let's see, gonna make him forest. And yeah, we got this cool resource here. the end of those really nobody attacking me again and I think what I'm what I might end up doing here <clears throat> wait I need to pass another law I think what I might end up doing is waiting for this next tech level to build the mediums um, that way they'll be a little bit tougher they'll be higher level crew and I think I'm going to also build this structure first so they'll be even higher they'll be like elite um, so they'll be really tough and then I like I like beams I like beams better than lasers in a lot of ways <clears throat> so I might go with like one beam one laser and one gun on my frigates uh, instead of uh, two lasers, or I might go two beams. <clears throat> I especially like the beams on the uh, center mount, on the spinal mount center, because um, those tend to be used more uh, across crossfire to other flotillas. Um, not in, not in the same flotilla, but on the the, the, the cross flotilla firing arcs. So they're better at, at range, at that kind of long range, because everything's long range when you, if it's a separate flotilla um, flight path. So I might do that. Sometimes I use these entropy tor torpedoes just uh, as a counter uh, against opponents. If, if I see like a lot of opponents are going like all energy, then I'll, then I'll use them just to keep them honest, you know? Um, rock, pa rock, paper, scissors kind of thing, but... Uh, right now, this game, I've seen a lot of people that are heavy kinetic, so lots of guns, so not so much with uh, feeling that. Well, I want to keep a little fleet here to be able to take these guys out. They must have retreated. Okay, so I'm going to move these invaders down here. Again, I probably shouldn't have moved those invaders yet because, like, I might need to 
to repair or recover. Yeah. Uh, I might want to move those over to the Calgara system. <clears throat> extra ship in this one. So how do we do on that one? Ooh, it took 2,000 damage. <laughs> He took a lot of damage. <clears throat> I kind of want to watch and see how that one went. Okay, so there's just one missile ship up here. Everything else is down here. So let's see how this goes. <coughs> shields going down. Down to half shields. Quarter shields left. Damage increased once the shields went down. The damage getting taken went up a lot. <clears throat> and now these ships are gone. So now everybody focus fires over here. Both of these lanes are firing in here now. So yeah, both of these. So he, he took a big chunk of damage. 43, 49. 43, 49. And then 30% repaired at the end of the battle. So he's almost full hit points. And he dinged again. That's pretty good. He gained like three levels <laughs> in one turn. <coughs> I think that's what I'm going to go for. So what are we leaving behind here? We're going to take the Overwatch. Definitely going to take two invaders down here. Um, we're going to take this outpost. We'll bring one Overwatch on, on down here with us. And then what all's left up here? Pretty decent sized fleet. <clears throat> okay, that works. Okay, so next turn, I'm coming over here, and I'm going to attack the uh, Calgaros, <clears throat> and hopefully get luxurious livers. So here's his other fleet. <coughs> Much less impressive fleet. Not nearly as scary. This one's a lot more scary. 8,600. And, yeah, plus a leader. So, and that's not even full. He, he could add another butcher in there 
and that would take it up almost another 2,000, right? So that would be close to 10,000. So, yeah. So what do I have uh, that is ready to produce a ship? That guy can do one. Yeah, my, my systems just aren't really ready yet. <coughs> We're busy doing other projects right now. And then we have new systems that just, just completed there and there. These two. <coughs> oh yeah, the law. Let's look at the laws. So I ended up switching out a law. Um, I, I ended up passing power to the people because um, I did the math and I realized, oh, hey, this gives you 2% science per spliced population. And it's like, oh, well, I have a lot of spliced population, <laughs> right? <coughs> I, I don't remember what exactly. It's like, it's like 20 or something like that. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I have 17 splice population. So that's a 34% increase in science. I'm like, wow, you know, that's a lot more than what I'm getting from this other law. <coughs> so cram exam is less than brains over bucks. But um, this one is way more than brains over bucks. Um, seems like I can probably afford to go ahead and run brains over bucks as well. Green fertility, I'm not really sure how much I'm actually getting from that. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's not like it's on every system. It's like some systems have it. The ones that do have it, you know, I mean, I'm getting a little bit. I mean, I have I have the influence to burn, so I might as well run it, right? It's just kind of like which is the 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 biggest yield kind of thing. So I, I could be running that, lowering all my system improvement cost by ten percent. So anything that's building buildings, they're ten percent off. So that's like having an extra 10% industry, but it only applies if you're building system improvements, not ships. Um, that's 20% more science. I think I'd rather have the extra 20% science. So let's do that. Um, doing okay on population as far as like uh, expansion disapproval. Okay, so right now we're at 28,100, and we have 4,700 dust, about. So let's go ahead and pass brains over bucks. We get plus 20% science and minus 20% dust. Okay, so now we have 2,900 dust and 31,491. So 31,500 <clears throat> for for science. Okay, so we're, we're rocking out the science, man. Um, but yeah, our population, check this out, man. I mean, that's a, that is, that is a thing of beauty right there. Uh, we don't have any, uh, we're not boosted anymore, so these are only plus two, and this is plus two instead of four and four like it was before, because we're not boosted, because we don't have that much uh, <laughs> red saying. Red saying is gone. I don't think there's any. Hey, there's 
there's some. Let's buy it all. Okay, gone. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how it's been. Uh, heroes, I kind of bought them all. <laughs> I have all of the heroes working for me now. Look at this. 17. In fact, uh, let's do the her. There's a place you can show. <clears throat> There's a place you can show all of the heroes. There it is. Here's all the heroes in the galaxy. Uh, let's sort them by which empire they work for. Okay, so Lumeris has five. And these are their levels. And what they do. Um, Cravers have five. Um, Riftborn have six. Unfallen have three. Sophons have four. Walters have four. People Gianni have four. There's five. Uh, United Empire has four. And, and then there's us. We have this many. Lots of heroes. Uh, I ended up just putting them on my systems. I just sorted by production and then just put them in wherever they had the highest production, kind of more or less fitting them to the planets, <clears throat> to the systems they're in. Um, just kind of helping them level up and then I'll reassign them uh, to better fitting systems as, as time goes by. Let's see, we can do one more. Let's see, this, this, uh, no, this. Uh, okay, we can do one uh, level four modernization. <clears throat> it's funny, the, uh, the, our, our bottleneck on these is, is the tier, is the mid tier on both of these. This one, the hydromiel, and this one, the gossamer. Uh, in both cases, uh, that is the bottleneck that's slowing us down. So the hydromial bottleneck will be resolved by me taking these, this one and this one and that one. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to resolve the, um, the gossamer one because since this is off lane, um, and this one is off lane. I can't really, like the trade routes only help uh, ones that, you know, it's passing through. <clears throat> so, like my, my, my trade routes only hit this one and this one and this one and that one. So there's, there's two that are off lane that my trade routes miss. So, I think that's a bottleneck I'm just going to have to live with. Uh, I, can, I can place, obviously, I'm going to end up placing heroes on those systems where that, that really amplify uh, the luxury output. That's probably what's going to end up happening. Um, let's see, so I passed another law, so I'm done with that. I don't think I'm going to shuffle around the Vodiani anymore. I've already got them. So they started out uh, right here at BD. And then I spread them around down here. And I spread them out here. And I've got one in route to AA, actually. 
AH. AA, yeah, so he's eventually going to go up that way. Um, so I'm pretty much done. I guess I can move one to BB, huh? So let's do that. We'll move from BC to BB. Uh, and, and that'll be the end of me moving the Vujanis around. <clears throat> that'll be the end of it. And then I'll just let them sit in place and multiply. Uh, okay, so let's let's do a level 4 upgrade. Uh, let's see, we sorted by industry. So let's go ahead and just come down here. He's already working on one. So it seems like... This guy is our next candidate. Uh, anybody gonna be hitting their cap anytime soon? Does not look like it yet. Okay, this one C A. Send one or two to Regulus. Okay, that's all good. get these set up real quick shouldn't take too long build one of those build one of these Slag and sludge. I don't want to do that early. <clears throat> Probably do that earlier too. Probably like that early. stuff here. Yeah, we're getting getting close to the max there on that uh <clears throat> I should think about maybe building putting the good shields on those medium ships, but maybe I'll save those for the large ships. Because eventually the medium ships will be kind of almost cannon fodder too. <coughs> gets us close to where we're going to be. Uh, okay, so Kerr is part of the... Okay, these are both part of this constellation down here, which is the D. So DA So he's DB21 
entirely sure <clears throat> that I'll have time to build all this before I reach some sort of victory condition in the game. <clears throat> I think it's likely that I'll... Oh, I don't know, 50 turns from now? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, we'll see. I don't... I kind of don't think the game is going to go to turn 200. Like, when I'm playing uh, the Extreme Foreman, the games usually don't make it much past around 150. <clears throat> so if that's DB, then this is DC 12. Because it's uh, Constellation D, third system colonized C on a star lane, and then one telluric planet and two gas planets. That's my naming convention. Okay, so DC, DB. Okay, let's make sure all the movements are done. He's cool, let's just hang out. Let's guard. Okay, you guys can hang out. Not attacking Cravers. Bring you guys down here. Invaders can hang out. And I think that's it. Not attacking Cravers. Not attacking Cravers. Ah, uh, you guys can disband. <clears throat> so what I think what might happen is the the Vodiani since these guys are under the Vodiani's control. And I don't know about these guys. Are these? Yeah. So what might end up happening is these could maybe convert into Vodiani systems. And all of those minor populations will be consumed. Um, I'm hoping that doesn't happen. At least with these guys, I'm hoping it doesn't happen. I really want to get the luxurious livers assimilation. So to get that, I'm going to just come over here. I'm going to invade uh, next turn for sure. <clears throat> if I can. So let's find out if we can make that happen. We're going for it. Oh, here's the scores. Uh, I'm at 27,000, 2,700. Got a nice lead going on. Got a nice lead going on. Probably going to end up at war with the Cravers kind of soon. <clears throat> we'll see how that goes. Definitely stay tuned <laughs> for those episodes. Uh, I'll, I'll probably um, put the, the fleet battles into the uh, fleet battle playlist. All right, let's do this, boys. Let's guard. Declare war. Invaders come over here. Invaders come over here. 
<coughs> uh, let's go ahead and let's see. Arctic seven three. I guess I'm going to do the Arctic. And I will feed him. Wow, that is amazing, isn't it? Twenty five from. Uh, Soil healers. Bountiful byproducts. Wow. Bountiful byproducts. Huh. Ten percent food from industry and because of <laughs> I didn't see that one coming okay because of the um, because of the bonus from thinkers and tinkers then that became extra food for bountiful byproducts wow that is so strong Keeps wanting an alliance. I keep not giving it to him. So here's what we're going to do we're going to attack and then we're going to invade just immediately. <clears throat> Ooh, plus 20 approval on Empire. That's cool. Okay, let's do this. Let's see if we can get these. Uh, this uh, luxurious livers. Got a really good feeling about this. We're going to do quite well in this fight. <clears throat> We'll watch it just for fun. <coughs> they're going turtle. They're going short range. So they'll start off at medium range and then they'll go to short range. Here comes my fleet. We barely took a scratch. Barely a scratch, and the repair will take care of that. Okay, here we go. Invade quick before you cranks out another fleet. Sometimes they'll do that. They'll pop another fleet out on you. All right, let's go full blitz. Full blitz. They only have 200 defending. That's fine. Let's do this. Take them down. I can't believe it. If I get this, the odds were so long that that was going to happen. That's a fantastic...
that's it. It's, it's a keeper of a system too. It's got resources. Oh yeah, we'll definitely occupy. <clears throat> That's outstanding. Whew. Yeah, that was really a one sided fight. Friendly locals. Okay, let's take a look at our upgrade cost now. Ooh, see they went down. That was 21. Yeah, that was definitely an improvement. Nice. So I'll be able to upgrade even faster now. <clears throat> that's really good. So I'm cranking out 9.9, .9, so that's... about yeah that's good and then this is cranking out at 21 so that's I can do about one of these a turn uh, let's see 18 meta intactogen 21 gossamer and 31 trans it's exactly one oh no 44 so it's a little bit less that's okay so that's fine i'm getting to where i've got way too much blue cap look at this blue cap 38 and i'm producing 38 so it's that's 26 i use 26 i'm producing 38 so i can do over one per turn but my hydromiel is 9.9 .9, I need 14 so I, I need way more hydromiel so I'm gonna be starting to sell this into the exchange just to get rid of it just like I'm doing with my Hyperium I'm selling it just to get rid of it so that I don't max out because it only lets you go to 999 resources I wish it would let you go to four nines only lets you go to three nines so then after that you have to start dumping it so Okay, CH40 is now got that in its radius. And we built stuff. Completed an autonomous administration. BA is going to build an autonomous administration. stuff off camera this guy is gonna do a thing I guess we'll do that <coughs> uh, this dude is gonna do that thing populations were gained Pujani is up to 12 now Long way to go. Calgaros. Those Calgaros on that system. At Idris. Yeah, they're going to turn into these. But I'm not going to necessarily do it that early. But that's what they're going to turn into. They'll be converted into Horatios. They'll be much happier as Horatios. Uh, let's just quickly zip through my fleets just to make sure I don't have anything that I'm forgetting. Zoom out a little bit. That's a little bit. Oh, yeah, this guy. Um, how about you guys uh, get dead? Yeah, how about that? How about you guys just get dead? That was a 
that that works. Here, we'll just do this. And we'll do repair and recover. <coughs> See, we'll do a fleet of six up there and six up there. Yep, that'll work. We don't even need to watch it. Because it's so super one-sided. <coughs> They don't have any chance at all. They did a total of how much damage? 179. And then we repaired it all. So, so yeah. That was Calgaros. Okay. And let's we'll check to see if there's anybody else. Attacking. Yep, that's it. Okay, so that's all the fleet movement that's left for the turn. So after this, I'm just going to be updating my population queues, my system build queues, um, stuff like that. Just, you know, the micro stuff. I'll do the build queue for Idris, rename him, whatever it is I'm going to rename him. So D A B C D E probably D F I guess um so yeah so I guess uh, that's probably probably a good spot to uh, stop the recording um looks like this guy is attacking the pirates maybe his fleet of forty two hundred I could probably take that out. Yes, I could. So this is pretty well defended. Ooh, he's coming down from Cross with his big bad fleet. Don't know why he's flying that guy solo. If he had him teamed up with his fleet, the fleet probably would have gotten there sooner. So let's see what happens. I mean, <clears throat> it'll be uh, really something if this fleet comes after me. Uh, that would be interesting. Let's see. He's got how much... 114,000 hit points, and my fleet has 90. So he has more hit points, and he does more damage. That means he would wipe me out completely, probably. Yeah. So that's, that's a fight I don't really want to have right now. Um, but worst case scenario, if I lose this, lose this, lose this, you know, and I start losing these systems because... Cravers decide to attack me and everything. It's fine. It's fine. I will <laughs> I will be building up uh, and I will build up fleet and then I will make a comeback and I will crush them. And I think it'll be a lot of fun to uh, to take down the Cravers, man. Um, take some of their systems, splice them. Splicing them will be really cool. Uh, just like I'm really looking forward to splicing these Vodianis, man. Getting another two FIDs. Food, industry, dust, and science. That would make me even more super, right? Even more super. So, anyway, I guess I guess that's where we'll we'll leave it. Uh, our uh, our trade routes are doing well. We got these three uh, headquarters and these one, two, three, four, five subsidiaries, and we're still trading with Lumeris. All the way over here <coughs> and uh, that trade route with the Lumeris is now costing me 852 852 influence per turn I I'm thinking it's probably not worth it I really don't think uh, the math works out there and that's just for that one external trading subsidiary to a Salus. I don't know what Lumeris is doing, man. I don't know why he doesn't have more trade companies and subsidiaries set up because Lumeris get extra trade uh, companies. And I think they get an extra headquarters and subsidiary, something like that. <clears throat> so, yeah, I don't know. I've, I've got mine maxed out. I mean, I could, 
I could spend some more here and level these guys up and make them level up faster. Um, but they're already they're already trucking along pretty well. So, all right, well, I guess we'll, we'll call it quits here. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next video. Uh, if you are so inclined, please like, subscribe, comment, make suggestions. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.